Hey guys, Lindsay here at the Carter Vintage Showroom in Nashville. Excited today to talk about a brand new guitar that just arrived recently following its debut at the Woodstock Luthier Showcase. This is an OMC from Oregon Luthier, Mark Gallero. Now, the last Gallero guitar that we had sold before it even arrived, so I'm extra excited to have some time with this one to tell you all about it because Mark and I had a great chat a couple of months ago where he told me all about his, his past before guitar making, his time with Irvin Samaji, and why he's chosen to focus on non-threatened wood species, as we'll see on this one. The list of custom wood options that he has on this site is includes woods that we haven't even really seen here in our showroom all that much. So we were extra excited that this was one that would be a first for us. This is a Douglas fir guitar, and knowing what we know about Mark's craftsmanship, we knew that we were in for something really special. So Douglas fir is not a common wood used in guitar making, but it's not unheard of. And now it's not technically a true fir or pine or spruce, but it is in the same family with the spruces. So it shares some of the same characteristics. And in the case of this particular set, it's got a really nice tight grain. It has these nice little brown flecks throughout that kind of make it look like a warm sweater or something. It's a really pretty wood to look at. And he's paired it with some beautiful bastone or bastonia walnut. Not quite sure exactly how that's said but this is a hybrid walnut between um, English and Claro. And so it shares some of the same characteristics of both of those walnuts. And so it's visually stunning and has that same sort of warmth and clarity that we associate with walnut. Now, tonally, I feel like this guitar reminds me a little bit of playing a cedar guitar. It's got a nice, quick, warm response, but then the sustain and the decay, to me, sits somewhere between mahogany and rosewood. It's not quite one or the other. It's got a nice balance overall. The highs are a little bit more mellow. So for me, this is such a great finger style guitar, but it certainly can handle some strumming too. It sounds really nice because of that strong mid range. Just really nice and full. We've also got a cherry neck on this guitar, which has a nice satin finish, which Mark put on specifically after hearing me gush about how much I love a non-glossy neck. And some more domestic tone woods all across um, to be sort of finishing touches as well as key parts. We've got Texas ebony on the fretboard and the bridge and spalted maple for the rosette and headstock veneer and cherry for the purfling. We love Mark's guitars and his mission and this is just such a great example of his work. And thank you so much for taking time to check it out with me today. And if you wanna learn more, go visit the link in the description below. Mm -hmm.